Okay, for the third part of the tutorial, we'll be trying to um, run the HEFRAS 2D model. Uh, so after we have the geometric data design, you can go into view, edit, unsteady, flow data, the small button here. Um, for upstream boundary condition, we'll give it a flow hydrograph, and for downstream flow con um, boundary condition, we'll give it a friction slope. So double click on the upstream boundary flow condition and click flow hydrograph um, then you get uh, to a place where you can put in your flow data um, so in the same folder you'll have the flow data um, and this is the flow data that, uh, that we used for the test um, so I'd like to start the flow data from a fixed date time that's 6th April 2017 um, it starts from 00, zero. Um, I'd like to collect all the flow that's in CFS control C select everything right click or control V paste it and the data interval is 15 minutes um, the boundary conditions, easy slope along the boundary condition is 0 0.05. I can plot the data and see if it's making sense. It seems to be correct. Okay. Press OK. Um, sorry. I'll go back to downstream flow condition, boundary condition. Um, give it a normal depth. So the friction slope, I provided 0 0.002. It's really not fat. Okay and save it save unsteady flow data and name it unsteady okay um, since it's done cancel it now you want to run the perform an unsteady flow simulation uh, for this i'd like to run the geometric unsteady flow simulation post presser as well as floodplain mapping um, i don't want to run it from 6th April 2017 0000 to 6th April um, 2017 um, 2345 so that's uh, the computation time interval I'd like to keep it that um, oops sorry um, Keep it at five minutes. I'd like to map it also at five minutes. The hydrograph I'd need it at fifteen minutes, and I press compute. Um, so it says that two D flow area doesn't exist yet. Um, so we can go back, and look at what the problem is data seems to be here and here double click it get to the flow area construct the mesh cancel it I'm going to stream flow condition I cancel it Let's compute it's done it works so sometimes the nodes are not exactly correctly made so if you force recomputation on the mesh, it just magically works. Okay. Let it run for a while. And then it seems it's done. We cancel this, cancel this, we don't need this. We can go into the open RAS mapper and take the depth. I want to view it a little bit. So then Um, let's press this again. Okay. Um, so the depth that's showing is maximum. So if you press the play button, you'll get it in five minutes. How the flow um, wave is propagating. Now you can see at the bottom it's between zero and fifteen. And usually it's a problem if there's fifteen feet of water. So we right click on it your properties go to surface you go to edit you change this into 15 to 3 
create apply let's press cancel and let's take it back let's play it again you see that the flow actually moves through in a pretty predictable way and when the flow is increasing the entire thing also increases so let's change something in this this has been done at a five minute time interval which is quite big so i'd like to run it at a smaller time interval at one minute and also i want the model to not run dry but um, run for run about three hours ahead and then um, use the flow values after that so i go to options calculation option and tolerances 2d flow option and the initial condition time i'd put it as three hours and press okay so the mapping you can do it as as less as you want I'd do it for two minutes let's see press compute now it takes some time to do this because it's doing it at a finer time scale um, and also the mapping is is being done at a finer scale so let's try to see be done in a few minutes So we're using division wave equations here. If you want, you can use a full momentum equation, but just make sure that um, you'll realize that the time interval needs to be very fine if you want to use a full momentum equation. So it's done. Let's cancel this. Open up the raft mapper. Um, I'd like to maximize it. So it's showing the ma the flow depth at the end of the flow period. I'd like to take it to the beginning. Then so in three hours it had run up to here now it's moving and there's always some problem with division wave you can see that now it's increasing now you can see somewhere in the middle it actually goes up to the maximum um, flow depth so if you click max here you can see this is the maximum flow depth which occurs at um, this time Yes, so this is the maximum flow depth. Um, similarly, you can get the water surface elevation if you wanted. That's the maximum, it's the minimum, but it doesn't give you any extra information on this. Um, so you can actually work on it and try out different methods to see how well it works, and you can play with it. Um, this is a very generic basic um, HECRAS, how to run a HECRAS 2D model.